So the latest news is that Elon Musk has pulled out of his proposal to buy Twitter. After promising to turn the social media site into a haven for free speech and quadruple the site's user base in just six years, Twitter are trying to sue Musk now that he's got cold feet over the number of fake accounts found on the platform. So here's the truth behind Twitter's stats and why Elon Musk has pulled out of the $44 billion deal. Here's how it happened. Musk has never made a secret of his fascination with Twitter, posting his first tweet back in 2010 and expressing an interest in buying the platform seven years later. Some of his tweets have attracted the unwanted attention of the SEC, while he's also declared himself a free speech absolutist, so much so that he even considered developing his own social media platform where anything goes. Fast forward to 2022 and his interest was almost converted into full-blown ownership. Musk began buying Twitter shares in January, before upping his total stake to 9.2% in early April. The platform's stock price soon surged by over 25% and Musk was invited to join the company's board, an offer he accepted but then changed his mind on less than a week later. Instead, he wanted to acquire Twitter and take the firm private, making an offer of $43 billion to make the company his, which valued each individual share at $54.20. Apparently no coincidence that the price contained the numbers 420. Despite the best efforts of Twitter's board of directors to freeze Musk out, evoking a poison pill provision, a deal of $44 billion was eventually agreed agreed on April 25th. The transaction still required regulatory approval and stipulated that Musk would not use the platform to badmouth Twitter or its employees in the meantime, a promise that he of course broke the very next day. Following the announcement, Tesla's stock price fell by 12%, more than double the total value of the Twitter takeover itself, resulting in Musk shifting $9 billion worth of his stake in his electric vehicle company. But Musk's antics didn't stop there. He made further outlandish claims like plans to turn Twitter San Francisco HQ into a homeless shelter and slash the salaries of the firm's executives and board members, all while underlining that he was not interested in making money from Twitter, but in creating a space of zero censorship where free speech is genuinely free. Then in May, Musk announced that the deal had been paused as he wanted verification of how many Twitter users were real people and not just spam, tweeting Twitter deal temporarily on hold pending details supporting calculation that spam or fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of users. The company's CEO, Parag Agrawal, replied with a 13-tweet thread to argue that estimates of the bot population on Twitter were well below 5%, and that the challenge of spam accounts was a dynamic and ongoing process involving the removal of over a million bots every day, to which Musk replied with just a turd emoji. Twitter has refused to share its bot verification process publicly, or with Mr. Musk, and it's this friction that's causing the deal to stall. By July, Musk pulled out of the acquisition, with his team highlighting that Twitter had breached terms of an agreement and appears to have made false and misleading representations regarding the prevalence of fake or spam accounts. Twitter in turn pointed out that their contract contained a $1 billion breakup fee if it fell through, a figure they're still expecting Musk to pay. The next step in the saga sees Twitter filing a lawsuit suit against Musk, with Chairman Brett Taylor tweeting the Twitter board is committed to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk. The truth is that Twitter has long had a problem with fake accounts, and that hasn't significantly changed since Musk's offer was accepted. At least the billionaire sees the funny side though, as he continues to share memes of himself about the move's breakdown and firmly holding his stance that Twitter itself is to blame, not him. Comment below with how you see the future of Twitter panning out, whether Musk's acquisition would be for the greater good and what you'd like to see in our next video. That's how it happened and thanks for watching.